everybody, this is Chris and this is my channel Barnum 11970 and I'm going to be doing a different type of video today and I hope you will listen to this because this can pretty much solve the problem that I see that has been going on recently in some videos that I've been watching lately. If you're not familiar with this, let me give you the background on it and why it's relevant to even some of the things I talk about. Now the only thing you're going to see here is my logo. I'm not going to post anybody else's information about the Fine Brothers um, because they're becoming what is known as bullies. Now let me give a premise in case you don't, if you're not familiar with this. The Fine Brothers are basically people who do reaction videos. They do the videos like, you know, certain type of people react to certain type of things. I don't even want to mention the names. But I'm sure some of you are familiar with the channel. It has to do with younger people or older people or whatever reacting to certain things. Now, that's all well and good. That's not my taste. I don't watch those kind of videos. I don't find them entertaining. There's nothing to me exciting about watching somebody looking at something else and go, doing a shock face. To me, that's not entertainment, but to each their own. It's obviously popular. Now, what I'm hearing now is the fact that the Fine Brothers are basically trying, in a nutshell, to copyright the word react. Now they're not they can't do that because it's a word, it's a phrase. They you cannot copyright that and make it into your own. Because first of all, they didn't invent reaction videos. People reacting to things have been going on way before they ever made their channel. So but what this boils down to and why this is relevant even on this channel is I've always talked about how corporations try and take over. And if you think about things that are going on now. This is no different. Now they are not a corporation, but what they are trying to do is get people to join them. And if you want to make a reaction video, they will basically be getting a cut of your work. Saying things like, oh, this is legal. Well, if they knew about law, you cannot copyright an idea. It just doesn't work that way, and they are not the creators, they are not the inventors of it, which makes it even more challenging. But what they're doing is, because they are so popular, and because they've generated lots and lots of money for YouTube, well, they can now bully smaller channels by flagging their videos, saying, oh, you have a reaction video? Well, that's our quote-unquote copyright and because YouTube doesn't have a customer service desk where you can call them up and speak to an actual human being, and it's all algorithms and computers, this is a form of bullying. Now, I've seen several videos all over the place on how angry people are, and it's justified. But you have to understand the mindset of how you defeat things. And this is what I've said on this channel for a long time. The way they keep you from ever defeating a corporation, a government, a ruling class, what have you, is instead of you using your logic and walking away from the system, they get you to be angry and confront them, which now brings them more people to their brand, their product, their what have you. So the more people that do reactions to that in an angry over emotional way the more people are going to be drawn in the more profit they're going to make because there's an old saying is there is no bad press so yes they are going to get a backlash and people will unsubscribe but they're going to get more people just out of curiosity oh i've never heard of the fine brothers before let me go research it da, 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 da. oh revenue here's the secret ladies and gentlemen when you want to do a real protest, if you are still using a product that you are protesting, they do not care because they're ultimately there to make money. Now, the Fine Brothers are there clearly to make money off of a brand name, and they don't even own the brand. It's a reaction. I'm reacting right now. Does that mean I am not following a law? Am I doing something illegal? Can you actually copyright that? Because that's a dangerous slope, ladies and gentlemen, because then what if you can 
copyright certain words, certain titles, certain phrases, where does it end? This is a slippery slope. But do you want to know how you defeat people like this? Instead of everybody talking about it and communicating with them and going back and forth and doing bashing videos and being angry and being over-emotional, you don't watch any of their videos. You don't click on their links. Now, I've never, I think, but maybe, actually, I can't say never. I think maybe I've watched one or two of their videos in my six or seven years of being on YouTube. I, I don't find them entertaining. It's just not my thing. But even with all of this, I have no desire to go check out their channel because then that brings them attention. That gives them the energy. That's what gives them the finances. And that's ultimately what this is all about. So I see view video after video having hundreds of thousands of views. So it's going to bring people revenue. That's what this is all about. It's all about using your emotions. And if you've been watching my channel for the years that I've been doing this, this is what I warn people about is how governments, how corporations, how any major big factor enslaves you. It's through your emotion getting you angry because then you don't think straight. You react instead of think. So I can understand people's frustration because people's livelihoods can be shut down. There are people who make a living. They quit their regular job so they can do videos full time for whatever content. And somebody, a bigger channel can come along and just wipe out the little guy with no recourse. Now think about how dangerous that is and think about how many things in common about things I talk about, how similar that is to this situation. Because just imagine if they end up getting a patent because they grease enough palms in a politician's pocket and they patent the word react. And now anytime anybody on YouTube has a word react in their video or do something similar to that, they can get sued or shut down or have their revenue taken. Where does it stop? And then it becomes total control where the few at the top with the power control the many. Sound familiar? Isn't that like how governments and how corporations treat us? If you are with Brand X Phone Company and you don't like what they are charging you, you don't like their service, and you don't like the way they treat you, you can bitch and moan and complain and protest and hang all the signs up you want and march in front of their office all you want until you're blue in the face for days, weeks, months at a time. If you are still paying the phone bill, they don't care. Because not only are they making money from you, you're giving them free advertisement. So how many people have watched these videos that people are making? who may have never even known who the Fine Brothers were. Because I knew about those reaction videos, but I never knew who made them. And it wasn't until I saw a couple of videos that it pointed it out. But I have no desire to go check them. But many people will. That's going to bring them revenue. That's going to give them more power. It's going to justify. Say, look, YouTube, you only care about money. Look how much we're getting. We want more control over what other people do. That's a scary thought when you could potentially control other people's finances through a simple concept like reaction. Because where does it stop? So if you have Brand X phone company and you don't like what they're doing, instead of getting angry, instead of marching, instead of protesting, instead of complaining, instead of bitching and moaning, switch phone companies. Put your money somewhere else. Put your time somewhere else. Put your attention somewhere else. So ladies and gentlemen who are still watching this at this point, and this is basically the whole purpose of my channel, is about how we are controlled in more ways than you can ever imagine, is because they know how to play our emotion. And most people react instead of think. How ironic.
So if the people want to put an end to the Fine Brothers, don't write them and complain. Don't leave nasty comments on their channel. Don't make videos bashing them. Stop clicking on their channel. Because every time you go to their video to make a nasty comment, you are giving them revenue. You are showing YouTube, who cares about money because it's a corporation, that they can make a lot of it quickly. And that's going to give them more power, more control. So what if somebody decides to say, oh, I, I started making top 100 videos. Ten years ago, I'm going to patent top 100. So now nobody on YouTube can make a top 100 video. What about if all of a sudden Max Kaiser or Peter Schiff decides to say, you know what, I've been talking about silver for the longest time. I'm going to copyright that. So anybody out there makes a video and talks about silver, you're going to get flagged. You're going to get shut down. Or we're going to take your revenue. What if somebody out there, like Alex Jones, says, you know what, I've been talking about freedom and liberty for years. I'm going to copyright that. What if all of a sudden corporations like Disney come in and patent the word mouse so you can't say the word anymore or certain phrases anymore? Where does it stop? The freedoms. See the freedoms? It's a bigger thing. And people have to know how to fight the enemy. If you fight fire with fire, you increase the burn. And they are counting on people to react. And that is the irony of this situation. Nobody thinks in processes anymore. Nobody thinks of the simple solution. They get suckered in. It's because it's just easy to do. It's you work on people's emotions. I could easily do that on this channel if I wanted to. You know how easy it is? Just call out a bunch of my trolls and start calling them out name by name, and all of a sudden a bunch of people will come here to bash me and say nasty things, but it'll increase my re revenue tenfold. But I don't need to do that. It's not. It's a, it's a, it's a prostitute kind of way. It's prostituting yourself. It's dirty. It's stupid. Where is the honor and the integrity? So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're still watching this and you want to get put an end to the Fine Brothers and actually do a protest, turn away. Don't visit their channel. Don't respond to comments. Don't leave comments. Just let them not earn money. And then the message will be heard. Because they're going to love the feedback that they're going to get. It's putting their name brand out there. It's free advertisement. But I'm trying to teach people the right way. While others, there's a thing, like I've said, drowning in good intention. And I've seen multiple videos tonight that inspired me to ultimately make this video. And people have the right to be angry. But it's free press for the Fine Brothers. And it's going to get more people to even be angry. Because anger makes people react real quick. You know how many people in the past couple of days while this was going on probably went to one of the Fine Brothers videos to call them a jerk or to call them idiots or to make fun of them or to say troll comments? And all they're seeing is, and all they're hearing is, ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. When do people stop? And this is, like I said, I've been talking about on my channel for the longest time. This is how governments have controlled people for millennia. How corporations have erased and eradicated the mom and pop stores. That's why most of the businesses here in the United States Corporation are over in China or overseas. Because the little guy cannot compete with the big guy. And the big guy has enough money and power to put money in politicians' pockets to not only make laws happen, but prevent certain laws from ever happening. You think you can afford a copyright? A patent? You know how much it costs to get something patented? Well, if you're a multi-millionaire corporation that has shareholders and unlimited funds, 
Well, that's just a dime in the pocket for them. This can turn into something big. And the problem is people fall into it every time because they base it on emotion. That's why people will make these kind of videos out there where they get you to be angry. Because they know you'll respond. And the funny part is, the times that I made the most money was when I was arguing back and forth with my trolls and haters. And I didn't do it to make extra money. They, they got me to react to them. But in the end, it actually made me more money. I make less money when I don't talk about them. And you notice how very few times, well, I don't even remember the last time I even mentioned one of their names because I don't need that kind of dirty situation, that dirty money. I don't need it. But there are people out there that, that will make anything possible just to get clicks, just to get views, to get that one millionth subscriber, that five millionth view. And they're going to shut people down. If this goes through and the Fine Brothers are allowed to patent reaction and allow them to, sh YouTube will allow them to shut down channels. Mark my words, that's just the beginning of the end. So you can keep yelling and screaming. You can keep going to their channel and leaving nasty messages and trolling their account and helping them make money. Or you can walk away and show them how irrelevant they are. That's the only way you will send a real message. Because they're counting on you to throw hate their way. Because that hate that, they, that you see, they see as dollar signs. And I hope there's more than me out there that can see that. Because so far, there were some very eloquently put videos, very to the point, very intelligent videos, reacting to what they're doing with anger. But none of them came up with a solution that the proper solution to a problem like that is to no longer participate in it. Watch the movie War Games. War Games, the computer learns in the end that the best way to win is to not play the game. My name is Chris. This is Barn on 11970. Thank you so much for listening to what I have to say. And I hope people will spread this because if you want to fix a problem, you got to start doing it the right way because the real definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. There's a reason why corporations have knocked out the little guy and governments control the little guy because we fall into their trap every time. Have a great night.